collaborated with Bengali Babu once again. This video is specially created for the Bengali Babu subscribers. Uh, it's about my visit to Azerbaijan in December 2019, uh, where I went to Gabala, which is uh, 200 kilometers outside of Baku. Uh, thank you so much, Mukul Rahman, for collaborating with me once again. My channel's name is Just Go With A Brain, and I really hope you like this vlog. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get straight to it. Hey guys. So uh, I have um, finally settled into my apartment. We're headed uh, to the winery and uh, it's really, really cold here. It's way colder than Baku. It's less than five degrees here. I think when we landed this morning, it was eight and now it's five. I think it feels like two, thanks to the fog all around. Uh, the uh, Savalan Winery is a vineyard. Uh, it is um, it is a short distance from uh, Gabala, uh, the city center, and it has excellent tours. Um, it has two tours. One is 25 manat, one is 50 manat. So uh, the experience was really nice. If you guys are into wine, you must uh, take a tour, uh, book in advance, uh, especially if you're coming in summer. My wine tour so in December there's not a lot of tourists so they had a little trouble with finding an English guide uh, for our tour but they managed to give us a decent tour um, using Google Translate <laughs> uh, and though we had a wine tasting at the end so in order to compensate that they tried to give us a few extra tastings it's just 6 30 p.m. but it is so dark outside it feels like it's 8 30 um, I am so tired I'm just gonna have some dinner. So I guess uh, that's all from me tonight and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Good night. My eyelashes are cold. Like my eyelashes are freezing. That's the expression I used yesterday. I don't think I've ever said a sentence like that in my entire life. <laughs> Good morning everybody. It's day two from Gabala. <laughs> It's three degrees outside. It's it's really really cold. This is super thick. I'm wearing a thermal wear inside. I'm wearing thermal pants and I'm wearing snow boots <laughs> and I'm wearing thermal socks. Oh my god, that's a lot of thermal wear. <laughs> I'm all geared up. Uh, I am going to the mountain today and I am really looking forward to seeing some really spectacular views and fingers crossed we'll be able to see some snow. We just had our breakfast. Uh, we're staying at this uh, apartment called Firoz Apartments. This nice blue house that you see behind me. Yes, that's where we are staying. And we had breakfast right here, right opposite. Uh, it's called Asgard. Uh, now we are off to the mountain. Uh, it's called Tufandag. Uh, really looking forward to that. And uh, it snowed or, uh, yeah, it snowed last night. So I'm really hoping that I will see some snow and some gorgeous views. I at the uh, Tufandag uh, Mountain Resort um, uh, cable car station. So we just uh, bought our tickets. Uh, there are two, um, two cable cars that are not working today. They're not functional. Um, maybe because of weather conditions, I'm not sure. Uh, but the last two are working, which is, which is great because we still get to go to the highest point. Uh, so I was a bit confused about the timings of this place uh, because I was not sure how early or late I am. So TripAdvisor said it opens at 9 a.m. and Google ma uh, Google said it opens at 10. Actually, it opens at 10:30 and throughout all seasons, summer or winter. So if you guys are wondering what time you guys should be here, I think it's it's best to come here before 10:30. We're here at 10:20, which is great because we found parking easily. We found we, there was no queue for the tickets and there's no queue waiting for the cable cars. And I think in the summer this place could be really crowded, even in the winter because it's great for skiing. So. I would suggest get here before like 10.30, maybe 10.15, 10.20 so you don't get any queues and you get parking very easily. Uh, 
Uh, we're done with the Tufan, the um, mountain cable car. Uh, we spent a good hour or an hour 15 minutes up there. We had a lot of fun with the snow. And uh, I forgot to mention uh, the two cable cars, they costed us 14 manats each for an adult. I believe children below six go free. So now we're just headed to the Nuhur Lake. I hope the weather remains this good. Hi guys. So here we are at the Nuhur Lake. Uh, just FYI, if you're doing a self drive and going to the Nuhur Lake, take the left from the Sahil restaurant as in just go into the Sahil restaurant and you go you, you can find a little lane that goes to the Nuhur Lake parking and then you can do a boat ride like we are doing. Say hi! Hello! <laughs> yeah it's uh, for, for the boat ride we are doing the 15 minute one. It's 15 minutes and 15 minutes for both of us. So yeah that's what we are doing. Yeah and enjoying the views. That's all. Seven Beauties Waterfall in uh, Gavala. Wow, I'm still panting. That was a 15 minute hike up the stairs and the stairs are pretty steep. Uh, they can be very slippery so hold on tight. They have uh, a railing, the green one that you see right behind me. They have it all over so you can hold on to that and come up but it is a bit risky for elderly people and kids as well um, but I think kids can still manage if they are like six seven eight years old but elderly people I wouldn't recommend it it's, it's a very long hike uh, what I wanted to tell you is that um, we got here um, with a taxi so the car you drive only gets you to a certain point and then uh, you have to come uh, up uh, to the entrance of the waterfall uh, by a taxi. Uh, the taxi charged us 20, no, they were charging us 30 minutes, but my husband negotiates really well. So we paid only 20. Yay! So, so uh, we're pretty much done with our time in Gabala. Uh, after seeing those beautiful, gorgeous sights, we're ending our day by visiting this uh, small theme park called Gabala Land. Well, uh, since we're visiting in December, it looks like a ghost town right now and nobody's here. But I guess it, it would be completely different in summer. Anyway, so this is the gist of what you can expect when you visit Gavala. Uh, whether you come stay here or you come on a day trip, this is pretty much what you will see in Gavala. Alright, so this is me signing off. Cheers guys and safe travels. Hey guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that vlog as much as I enjoyed filming it. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to Bangali Babu. Uh, also, I will leave uh, the link of my YouTube channel down below in the description box. Uh, my channel's name is Just Go With Amreen. Please check it out and tell me what you think. And um, everyone, please stay home, please stay safe. Shabai Balo Thakbin. Everyone stay fine and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Okay, so there are quite a few stores here for um, you know food and barbecue and waffles etc. Uh, that is the store. It's called Ball Honey. Uh, and we bought some organic honey from there. Hi guys! So the first cable yeah, car was... Shush! I want to mention the tickets to the cable car that we paid this morning was 14 um, 